Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, Straight Game TV. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Hit the thumbs up uh, notification. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. Uh, but more importantly, if you want to be one of the first people's notified when I drop some of the straight game, uh, please, please hit the bell notification. I'm going to get right into it. Once again, breaking news. Um, um, I'm here to explain to you. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to break down, you know, why uh, Sacha with Shakur would sue uh, uh, the executive of uh, Afini Shakur's estate as well as the trust that controls Tupac's assets and the various assets controlled um, uh, by Afini Shakur prior to her death. And uh, this is very interesting. Um, I think Sacha has, you know, they, they've basically done their homework. Uh, the the uh, the anchorman team, the lawyers that she has, you know, on her side um, in regards to what it is. Um, I found one thing specifically in the lawsuit um, in regards to uh, and this is the second cause of action, meaning uh, what they found that uh, the, the malfeasance in which they uh, uh, alleged that uh, Tom Wally had been um, letting occur and uh, facilitating, if you will, uh, in regards to that. And, 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 it, and it goes something like this. It's regarding uh, Afini Shakur had a houseboat up in Northern California in Sausalito, California, right? And so when you deal with this, there's certain things that are supposed to happen with certain properties. Uh, and basically, it was left in her will and trust as to how all of those things are supposed to be taken care of. And I'm going to get into it like this. It says, petitioners repeat and reallege all allegations uh, set forth uh, previously herein it says pursuant to the terms of the trust and its subtrust the subtrust ought to receive assets from the trust in certain specific ways and amounts a simplified chart showing the distribution is annexed here too as exhibit 11 this is the chart right here this is how Afini set up the trust who's the benefit from it and so on and so forth right um and it says, pursuant uh, to trust uh, 5.1, Wally was to hold Tom Wally, uh, the executive who's being sued uh, of the trust. Wally was to hold uh, the houseboat located at 34 West Pier Kappa's Marina, Sausalito, California, in the Monhas Family Trust for uh, uh, Marge, uh, Marie Germain, Molly, Monhas, Molly, and her son Carl to reside in with Molly and Carl to pay certain costs of maintenance and operation. Under certain circumstances, this houseboat could be sold and the proceeds invested in another residence for Molly and Carl to live in. How generous of a Feeney she call. Um, however, title to such other residence was to be in the trust. So basically, if they did buy another house, that house that they bought, if they sold a houseboat, was to be named in that, you know, in the trust also. Uh, with the same terms pertaining to the cost being applicable to the new residents. Pursuant to the trust 5.2, the Monhaus family trust would terminate upon the occurrence of certain events, which primarily consisted of circumstances under which Molly and Carl were not residing in the property owned by the trust upon the termination of the Monhan the Monhaus family trust its assets were to be transferred to the residuary trust for the benefit of the beneficiaries of the residuary trust so no matter what happens this is what's supposed to happen this is laid out in the various trusts and things that Affini had left behind uh, uh, prior to her death right um it says, upon information and belief, a Molly Monhaus is both a personal friend and social acquaintance of Wally, an employee of the business which he manages. Upon further information, 
I'm sorry, upon information and belief, contrary to the provisions of the trust, Wally liquidated the houseboat in which Molly and Carl were residing in instead of holding the proceeds for either the purchase of another residence in the name of the trust or terminating the Monhaas family trust and turning its assets over to the residuary trust. Wally then proceeded then uh, uh, Wally turned the proceeds over to Molly Monhaas for her to keep for her personal benefit. Boom. Explosion. That's what you call malfeasance. That's what you call um, uh, not doing what you're supposed to be doing or what your job is and um, basically doing playing king and doing what you want to do. Right. It's all laid out for you to do. So in that being said, and see now it also goes in to say, while petitioners do not know the actual amount of the proceeds. So they weren't even given an accounting for the last five years from my understanding and reading these court documents, they don't even know the proceeds from the sale of the houseboat. And they're the beneficiary, the, the rightful uh, legal beneficiaries of the trust. Um, like I said, Afeni was nice enough to, um, you know, give Molly and, and Carl a place to stay for life. Look at the chart. For life. Right. So basically, once again, it says while petitioners do not know the actual amount of the proceeds from the sale of the houseboat, it, it is estimated upon information and belief to be more than one hundred thousand dollars. This, however, is not the only instance in which Tom Wiley committed a breach of trust. They're calling it a breach of trust, a breach of trust, nor in which he acted contrary, contrary to the terms of the trust to the benefit of himself or someone else whom he was acquainted. They call that inner dealing y'all. Like I said, but in, in, in this instance, they're basically calling it a, 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 a breach of trust, right? Basically says the compensation, the compensation for the trustee and special trustee are expressly set forth in 13.4 and 14.4 respectively as to how you know everybody is to get paid in both instances they are to receive a reasonable compensation in accordance with the published fee schedule of corporate trustees in effect at the date services are rendered right so every time you render service this is what you get paid and so on and so forth as the trustee upon information and belief Tom Wally has waived his potential fees as trustees and special trustee choosing instead to appoint himself as the manager of Amaru Entertainment. The principal income producing asset of the trust and effectively the holder of all of the existing assets of the trust and the assets of the trust transferred from the estate. So basically what that says to me is being the trustee of the estate didn't pay enough. So what I'm going to do, if I talk to my lawyer and we're going to see how we can finagle this, you know what I mean? What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to um, hire myself. I'm going to give myself a job, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to take the, uh, the, the, the minimal trustee fee, but I'm going to actually take a 20% uh, uh, fee off the top of the uh, Amaro Entertainment. So basically, in some cases, he's getting paid more than Setua's, uh, 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 the Tupac Amaru Shakur Foundation. He's making more money than the money that Tupac and Afeni, I'm sure, if they had known about this, he's making more money than going to the foundation that are helping inner city kids, youth, uh, uh, people with mental illnesses, um, and all of the things that Tupac and, 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 and his sister, they stand for. This is egregious. This is outrageous. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and so, uh, as they said, the trust affect the whole of all existing assets and the trust transferred to the trust. And it says also, upon information and belief, he appointed himself to this position, which would normally be barred by the inherent conflict of interest pursuant to the provisions of trust 15.1. However, 
That provision expressly provides that such conflicts of interest are only permitted if the trustee or special trustee who has the conflict of interest is taken in good faith with reasonable care and on terms comparable to those obtainable from third parties, which was not. He paid itself. He paid Tom Wiley paid himself an excessive amount of money, not comparable uh, uh, to those uh, to those obtainable from third parties. Right. Upon information and belief, Wiley has already received five point five million dollars that he has paid himself in the last five years through Amaru. Upon information and belief, he has effectively embezzled millions of dollars for his own benefit well in access of what would be reasonably necessary to retain a properly qualified third party to perform such services. Facts. Basically, what they're saying is Tom Wiley would not hire if he did hire someone outside of giving himself the job. He would not hire someone to do the same job that he claims he's doing, right? And pay them almost a million dollars a year to do it. Right? So basically, you, 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 get, you get what's going on. And it basically says, as a result, Wiley has unreasonably enriched himself at the expense of the beneficiaries and in bad faith by taking excessive compensation in a position from which he would properly be barred based on the inherent conflict of interest. And it, and it says, last but not least, based on the foregoing breaches of trust and the terms of trust, Wally should be ordered to recomp recomp recompense an amount which the court determines to reflect the dollar value by which the trust has been injured but in a minimum amount of $4 million. Wow. You know, it's, 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 it's something because I think I got to give my, I got to take my hat off the sexual. I know Tupac right now is, um, is cheering his sister on. I know he's cheering his sister on. I know right now Tupac is so proud of her for really handling her business because a lot of people would have been just, you know, Happy with the little bit of money that they was getting from the trust and, you know, you know, uh, uh, go along to get along and so on and so forth. And I understand what Tom Wiley, you know, giving Tupac his first record deal, all of those things that, you know, he's done, you know, being friends with Afeni and so on and so forth. But when you read this, uh, 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 this filing, this court filing, this court case, it is clear, it is clear that um, number one, the, 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 the money for the boat was supposed to go back into buying another property or the residuary trust like was laid out. It didn't happen. Number two, um, you know, for a fact that, you know, if you were to give somebody the same job that Tom Wally hired himself to do at Amaru, you know, you wouldn't pay them five, uh, a million, damn near a million dollars a year. I'm going to say $1.1 million a year. When you break it down into five years, you wouldn't pay them that amount of money. And like I said, anybody with any kind of uh, um, uh, brains um, or, or, or form of understanding knows that, too. You could get somebody to do that, jo that job, that, that, that job right there. You can get somebody to do that job for $150,000 a year. And they working for the Tupac estate. You know what I mean? And they running the Maru Entertainment. I would have did that job for $150,000 a year. I could do that. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you when you deal with the facts of the matter, um. But as I read more in regards to this, yeah, they need somebody to um, replace Tom Wally as the trustee. There's no way you, you can do that. And like I said, lawyers always come out and they say, well, you, 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 we'll find out and the judge will quickly. No, 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 no. The, the, the money for the boat, they haven't even received an accounting. They don't even know how much the boat was sold for. Finney's houseboat in Sausalito, California. They don't even know how much it was sold for because they didn't get an accounting. So I don't know how, in what way they're going to find that, you know, Tom Wally has always done right by the, uh, the, uh, estate and it's in it's in the trustees. So yeah, your boy Delray straight game.